Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the Mic Check 1212. Is this thing on? Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you enjoy my content and my channel. Please support me by hitting the subscribe button and the thumbs ups. All right, now also you can follow me on Twitter. I, I post all sorts of stuff that is uh, parallel to what I talk about on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and follow me at, at Michael66573056. My link is in the description. Go check it out. All right, now you guys, I got a ton of stuff. I got 10 minutes. Let's see what I can tell you in 10 minutes. All right, now we have all sorts of stuff going on right now. We have the Swell Conference, which is huge. All right, a few days ago, we had the Stellar Meridian Conference, which was very small, yet they just announced something huge like the 55 million token burn, you know. I, I do strongly still believe that these two tokens are, are correlated um, I, I honestly do think they're working together behind the scenes. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, yesterday uh, was the first day of the uh, Swell Conference in Singapore. And David Schwartz himself, by the way, variable guy waking up. I'll go over that in a minute. David Schwartz himself posted a tweet. He, he posted all sorts of tweets yesterday. Okay, okay guys? Now, <clears throat> as soon... but. What I noticed, because I was checking the charts all day yesterday, of course, you know, of course, I, you know, I, I dumped, I dumped more money into XRP yesterday, of course, why not? You know, if the same thing happens that, that happened at Stellar XLM, then hey, you know, I'm going to make a quick, a pretty penny off that. Now, David Schwartz, he actually posted this, and right after he posted this, the, the funny thing is, the XRP chart rose dramatically. I mean, it was like a 5% rise, but it, you know, that's kind of dramatic lately for XRP. Look at this chart rise. Look, look what happened here. It, it just went up right, right after he posted. I don't know if it's correlated with if they made some kind of announcement. I'm not sure. But what happened right afterwards? We, we started getting excited, of course. That's what we do. You know, that's what we do. Now, right afterwards, it dumped. I mean... How disheartening is that? Well, we're used to it by now, right? Okay, now you guys just remember, that's what happened in 2016 with XRP, 2015, 2016, 2017, until it didn't. Until we saw, until 2017 saw 80,000% gains. Okay, just remember that. So it looks to, honestly, the chart looks exactly the same to me, you guys. And all it takes is one final last humongous dip, maybe to 15 cents. I don't know. In my opinion, I think we're going to go that low. But just for a brief instant, one final dip before blasting off to Mars. All right. Now, now this in correlation with... Let me show you. Let me show you something that I, I was showing you guys a while ago, and I don't know. I do have a lot of new subscribers lately, so maybe you guys weren't able to see. And I was showing you this on Twitter as well, so that's another reason you should follow me on Twitter. Now, hint, hint. This was the this was Ripple's seventh year uh, anniversary celebration, enjoying anniversary celebrations from New York to London to Singapore to Dubai. All right, they were celebrating their seventh anniversary. Um, let me show you this one right here. We, we noticed they were giving us a hint, hint. They were giving us a clear hint, hint, in my opinion, because there was not only one hint bottle of water. I've never heard of hints, by the way. There was two hints side by side, hint, hint. And then you get a Coke bottle and an Apple computer right next to each other. And now this. And as soon as he put this up, guys, the price did rise dramatically. In my opinion, they must have made some kind of maybe Apple or Coca-Cola announcement or both. I don't know. But I do believe they were trying to give us a hint, guys. All right. So who knows? We, we, they, they might have told, uh, they might have told the people who attended Swell to keep it under wraps, you know, due to the non-disclosure agreements, you know, that we're so fond of, right? We love those. Because we don't know what's going on, all right. The the good thing about that is, yeah, we did see some excitement there in the chart, and clear manipulation brought us right back down. 
That's why you accumulate because sooner or later that price manipulation will stop. That price lid will come off. Okay, and I do believe it's due to regulatory clarity or lack thereof. Now, in this one, I decoded. Remember, December seventh. I don't. I still don't know, but December seventh is exactly one month away, guys. One month away. Now, bearable guy's waking up, and his moon cycle on his hat is one month. Remember that it's a whole month. What does that mean? I still believe that in December we will see our. Pst Boom. I still believe. Okay? I hope you guys do. Now, clear correlation between David Schwartz and Bearable Guy. David Schwartz's picture, he has one eye open. Bearable Guy, he has the same eye open. Gold background? Come on, guys. Is it not clear yet? It'll get clearer and clearer. Okay? But... Thanks to deep divers like me and others on YouTube, we're figuring this out step by step, piece by piece. And piece by piece, we're putting the grand puzzle together. The grand puzzle that eventually will make us very wealthy. Now, Bearable Guy, he posted his first post in a long time yesterday. And this is a... Actual, an actual cartoon from, uh, I think it's 1936. Uh, I love to sing it. I watched the full eight minute cartoon. You guys need to see it. It's a, it's awesome. It really is. It's kind of heartwarming. It's funny. I mean, don't underrate cartoons from the thirties. They're actually amazing. Now it's called, I love to sing a, I love to sing a, <laughs> about the moona and the juna and the springer. What, you know how it goes I can't do it but now bearable guy he posted this and then he put this little uh, caption on it just knowing chances still exist in this world for regular people to have a possibility of changing their lives because of XRP and ripples auspicious plans makes life bearable and fun keep your eye on the prize and and notice he says I lowercase I instead of your eye you know um, the first thing I thought was well, what if you take the I off the prize? Well, it becomes P-R-Z-E. Um, of course, you, you guys know by now, I know this Riddler or whoever, David Schwartz, bearable guy. Come on, guys. You know, I think they're using Gematria. And the Gematria that I found on that was Lumen. Now, what the heck does that mean? I don't know. What are they trying to tell us? Lumen. And I'm, I guarantee you, light, 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 light. Maybe they're talking about XLM, Stellar XLM Lumens. I don't know. Or maybe they're just talking about light, you know. But from light to dark, guys, light to dark. All right. Now, um, pirates pirates use eye patches to go from light to dark and to be able to see instantly in the dark. Remember? Um, I think what they're talking about here, what they're trying to portray to us here, what David Schwartz is trying to portray is that from light to dark... Things will happen in a split instant. And I think that's what will happen with maybe the XRP price. You know, maybe it'll go from nothing to fireworks. Okay. I think that's what happens. And we've seen it before. The chart does not lie. All right. Now, someone also clarified to us. These are not blocks. These are bricks. Bricks. All right. Pretty cool. He was telling us. He, he, he knows. Okay. The bear knows. Trust me. The bear knows, and if we can tie him more to David Schwartz, then we can put more legitimacy on what he knows and what he's telling us. Okay, guys? Now, um, I believe in December we're going to see a rise, guys. Okay? Now, just I'm going to leave you with this. Predicting rain doesn't count. We know there's going to be a financial collapse. We, know, we don't know how hard it's going to be. We don't know if it's, there's going to be a plunge protection team helping us. We don't know exactly how it's going to go down, but we do know it's going to go down. There's going to be a world reset. We already know that. Okay. We just don't know when, but you know, we're in a humongous everything bubble right now. Predicting this thing doesn't count. Building arcs does accumulating hard assets like silver and gold and cryptocurrencies, guys. Namely, one of the ones that's going to be within the regulatory confines of the law. XRP, 
Does that ring a bell? All right, guys, if you enjoy the content of this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Love you guys. Crypto Mike out. Peace.